this is the Layered Birds die set from the Bookshop Collection by Textures. So this has 15 dies in total and it creates two different bird shapes. But in fact, it actually creates a lot more than that because you can mix and match. So you've got wings and the bodies of the birds and all sorts in here. And like I say, you can mix and match them so you don't have to have the same wing with the same body. So for example, here are two of the birds put together as they show on the packaging. Now, the clever thing about this is you do have everything you need written on the back numbered or rather lettered so you know exactly where you can put things. Um, you can just about see their little legs on there, but they are black as is the background. Um, so you've got those to put together to begin with, um, two different types of birds, but you can, of course, completely adapt those too. So these are the dies that you're getting. So like I say, there's 15 of them in total, but that includes uh, the one that does the beaks and the eyes and such, and that is just one die. I think that must be in here, actually. Uh, oh, no, we've got the legs in there as well. So these ones, I don't tend to cut all the time. So there's the legs and there's all the pieces for the eyes and the beaks. So for them ones I just cut from black and white occasionally. Um, these are the ones I tend to cut from colour and I'll do everything together that's why they're all taped together from one color and keep running it through lots of different colors until i've built up a collection of pieces so i can just start putting birds together whenever i need them so let's look at some examples of these quickly so i've got there a christmasy one a robin with the red and the white on the breast and as i say this is very different from either of these two shapes I've actually taken uh, this shape and I've flipped the body over so it's looking the other way. Uh, I've taken the headdress part here from this bird and added it on. You can see I've mixed and matched to create that. Um, I really do like putting the two birds together as well so they're facing each other and they work really well with the book stack that we've got within the bookshop collection as well for little birds sitting on top. And they just go with absolutely any occasion any genre you can see some more that i've just put together i just enjoy putting them together so let's do one of these for you so you can see how quickly they do go together so all you need to decide on is really your base color and are your is your bird going to be the same color all over or is it going to have a bit of a variation so this one here was pretty much the same sort of colors all over all the blues i did use an ink to go around the edges to highlight the the different parts. Um, this one I've very much used different colours for parts. I've also stamped some text on there, done some splats of white and brown but what I'm going to do here is just put together a basic bird without any inking or splatting because that's the sort of thing that you can go away and do later on. So start with the bird's body. Now this particular shape, which doesn't have the dips at the bottom for the legs, that allows this one to fit on top which is going to add a different color if you wish to the top of the bird so that kind of gives the bird a different belly color almost so the back i suppose then i'm going to add this bit which is sort of the the crown of the head for the bird i'm going to make this this is the same color almost the same color as the body the main body of the bird there then i'm going to put the tail on and this one just a little bit of glue and just pop that under there and then the wing now the wing you can have some fun with because you can have it up if it's flying you could have it down if it's flying you can have it so that the birds are hopping about there's different ways so this bird is intended to kind of be looking down almost but you can play with different variations by placing the wing in different places so I'm just going to put this one here just like so now if you have a look at this bird here there is also a part that you can add here to round the eye area if you want to make that different i haven't included it in this one um, now the bird really comes together when you put the eyes on which i'll do in just a moment oops let's put the glue onto the front of the leg there and pop the little legs underneath and again the legs can mix and match between the two different shape birds too There we go, so there's the legs, and this is where, in a moment, the face starts coming to life. So let's pop the eye just about there. That looks like it's really just a circle stuck on, but once you add the eye and the beak, it looks wonderful. So 
a little bit of glue. I do in, I do like to use my tweezers, it just makes this so much easier. So you've got, there we go, the eye and then the little beak. And there's two different types of beaks as well. The eyes are all the same. Let's add a little bit of glue just to the top of that and the little beak there, removing any excess glue too. There we go. So you can see how that really comes to life once you add in the eye. And as I said, there's so many different ways of putting these together. So um, have some fun with these. I'd love to see different examples of how you've used the layered birds die set. And you can find all of these on Craft Stash. <laughs>